guys welcome back to my channel so in this video I just wanted to go over the camping trip that I went on that you guys saw and I hope you guys enjoyed that video if you haven't seen it yet definitely check it out here so I just want to kind of go over like the things that I enjoyed about the trip the things that I maybe wasn't the most fan of the things that I would change or improve on going into my next experience and what I would continue to do and continue to bring going into my next experience as well. Alright, so let's start with some of the things that I enjoyed. So I would say I enjoy just kind of disconnecting and being in nature. Like it just is different. Like the air is just fresher. Just the environment and being around like the nature and being around the trees and just being in that environment seeing all the greenery as well i think does something to you just being out in the sun it's just i feel like it's really like our natural environment you know if you think about it all the technology and all these things all the radiation that we probably get from all this technology that's around us it's probably not you know the most ideal or how things initially were right so going back to the roots and being amongst nature it's just just refreshing feel that definitely felt like a refresh so another thing that i enjoyed is that it keeps you like alert and it keeps you like active <laughs> because you're out there you're in the wilderness you know you're building the fires you're everything is not as super convenient like it is at the house you can't just throw things in a microwave or just turn on a stove you know you actually have to get things together to build the fire you know and then see it come together so it just you have to work a little bit more for the things and it makes it more worth it when you have to put in that extra little bit of effort to do the everyday things like i said with the cooking making the fire that was pretty exciting <laughs> to be able to see it come together you know it teaches you a little bit of patience you're putting things up or you're building the tent you're putting the air mattresses <laughs> together blowing it up stringing the lights you're doing just all of these things to just make it come together and once it comes together it just like makes it so much more like worthwhile so it's more like rewarding um like i mentioned just the ambiance you know like i said of being in nature um i also like how we had the little string lights um, hung up I think that really created a real peaceful it almost reminded me of like a candle lit even with the fire it just gives you like that real candle lit just like I don't know how to explain it it was like comforting it felt cozy you also have like the natural white noise you know like you have like basically like the crickets and things like that usually when I'm at home you know you got the TV on and maybe that helps you go to sleep it's just different when you're in nature and you just you know hear the natural the wind or the rain falling like that natural like white noise is just it's just unmatched another thing that i enjoyed was the air mattress speaking of because that definitely kept us nice and comfortable <laughs> um especially it was very rocky grounds where we were so that air mattress definitely came in handy so i would do that again <laughs> All right, and then some of the dislikes. I just hate moths. So with the headlamps, any type of light pretty much attracts moths. And so I was wearing the headlamp and I'm trying to do things, but these moths are just like <laughs> attracted to the headlamp. And I was like, ooh, I was boxing them, fighting them off. That was like pretty annoying, so. But there was a setting where you can make it a little bit more dispersed the light on the headlamp and that kind of helps them not just run right into you but yeah i'm just not a fan of moths another one were the thorn bushes there's a lot of thorn bushes but there's these evil thorn bushes that got me also but it's a part of nature you know which is fine it's not the end of the world or whatever um but when i did go to like use the bathroom in the wilderness just you know I got caught by the thorn bushes, so it's kind of, it's a little tricky to try to get around them, but it's all a part of the experience, I guess, but yeah. Um, and they did get me, I still have like a little bit of the marks from them as they're healing, and I have one on my face too, but I think that one pretty much healed, I don't know, because I don't really notice it, but yeah. <laughs> and then another dislike is being like cold and wet. <laughs> it did rain that one day. Which again, is a part of nature and it was nice to hear it when you're in the tent and you hear it like hitting the tent, you hear the rain, it's just one of those white noise things but at the same time, when it's you that's wet and it's a little chilly out, 
it's a little bit of a different story, you know? So yeah. So some of the things that I would change and improve in our next experience, I would say is to get a bigger tent. Um, we had a technically three person tent, but it really only fit two actual adults. So just to keep in mind, whenever you're shopping for tents, whatever person tent that it says like minus one or two and that's the actual amount of adults that will fit in the tent so if it says a three person tent it could probably only fit two so just go by that that's what i've learned so the next time going in i think probably getting a four person tent um so then we can have more space you know and we had like a little bit of space on the edges to put some of our items to keep it in the tent especially when it was raining but it would be much better obviously to have way more space so we can even put like our bags in there of clothes. Um, we stuffed our boots in there. Surprisingly, we were able to, but it'd be nice to have like a whole separate side of the tent where you can put everything that you need right there um, and just make it a little bit more multi-use as opposed to like just strictly sleeping. We can actually spend a little bit of chill time in the tent and have more space to do that. So I think that'll be definitely the next time definitely get a bigger tent another thing i would try to improve on is a way to connect where your tent is to where like the picnic area so we had like a picnic table where it had all the food and everything and that was covered by an awning but to get from the tent to that covering you know if it's raining it was a little bit of a struggle and then also trying to put your shoes on outside of the tent since we didn't have room inside the tent and then it's like by the time you got your shoes on your feet was already wet because you're trying to battle the elements and not being covered when you're coming out of the tent. So either more space in the tent or even having like somewhat of like an awning that comes out a little bit further from the entrance of the tent. So that would be something I would try to see if there's a way to make that happen or some type of tarp or just something like that. Another thing I would improve or change is the hot hands. I would get the stick on ones. I thought I got it but I realized that it was just the regular ones and actually get the ones that has the adhesive and you can stick on your body. So yeah, I'll get those. And one last thing in order to keep us extra warm because there was one night where it got 45 degrees as a low. There was probably like two hours where it was like pretty cold, but also add hot water bottles. That's one note that I forgot. Um, what inspired me to go camping was the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. <laughs> They're like ASMR. They're just relaxing. I just enjoy it so much so he always recommends to use hot water bottles in your sleeping bag to keep you warm at night along with the hot hands so I brought the hot hands but I forgot to do the hot water bottle trick I couldn't believe I forgot that so next time I want to try the hot water bottles if it's gonna be a chilly night to help keep us warm and test that out oh, and I forgot to add one thing I would change is to not eat lightly and then go on a four and a half hour hike Yes, I don't know if you guys knew, I don't think I mentioned it in the video, but that hike was literally like a four and a half hour hike. Like, it was crazy and all I had was like two boiled eggs. So, yeah, next time, make sure you eat a more hefty breakfast and I should have brought the trail mix with me. I didn't realize it was going to be that much of a hike. We didn't go into it knowing that it was going to be that intense. <laughs> so, that's why I wasn't fully prepared for the hike. So, next time, if we were to do a hike, if... <laughs> It would be obviously better if I have more substance in my stomach to give me more energy and bring like a snack along with me too to keep that energy up, you know? Um, yeah, but the views were super nice when we went on the hike. It was really nice to see that and to capture that on camera. It was like, wow. Um, we were pretty much right on the border of New Jersey and Pennsylvania. So I'm not sure if we were looking at, at New Jersey or Pennsylvania, but it was a really nice scenic view so it was it was semi worth it you know it was nice the views were nice <laughs> all right so some of the things that i would definitely bring again would be that mosquito machine um i'll see if i could put it up here i got it off amazon so that helps you put it where you're eating and then you can also put it where your tent is just to keep like any bugs or mosquitoes away i would also add um something for like moths i don't know like mothballs i think there's something that kind of keeps moths away i know the fire does 
but something else maybe I don't know exactly but if there's something that keep the moths away I'll definitely look into that too for the next time <laughs> um definitely the air mattress like I said was super comfortable the headlamps came so much in handy uh, we had flashlights too but it's just nice to not have to use your hands and just have it light in front of you so that was helpful and then having other like lantern lights that you could put around it I would even get more string lights next time because I just love the ambiance of the string lights it just looks so nice with the warm tone Ooh, yes also the rain boots definitely came in handy especially if it's gonna rain obviously having those rain boots I would probably even get taller rain boots um, to make sure it keeps water from getting into my shoe and next time I'll bring my own poncho um, yeah just in case if it were to rain again first aid kit of course that's like a given whenever you're going out in the wilderness always bring yourself a first aid kit <laughs> oh and another thing that I would add is to bring more snacks I had like some trail mix but yeah just making sure you have snacks in general so I would do that again because um, you know if you do have to get up and you have to stoke the fire in order to get breakfast it's nice to have a snack if you're hungry just kind of hold you off until you're able to start cooking breakfast but anyways, guys, that's all the things I can think of currently of what I enjoyed, what I would change, what I would do again and bring again, and what I enjoyed during this trip. But overall, definitely recommend if you guys just want to detach. I know it's not for everyone, but just just try it. Just try it. And I'm telling you, it is so nice to just become one again with nature, how it was initially meant to be kind of you know what i'm saying hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to you know subscribe down below for more content coming out but yeah guys i'll see you guys in the next one bye